And now at five, authorities from Central to South Florida are on the lookout for this man, Sean Petrozino. He is a man with prosthetic legs who is a person of interest after his mother and father were gunned down in their home in Orange County. CBS 4's Peter Dinch discovered his parents had lived in Pembroke Pines for almost two decades. He's live tonight in their former neighborhood. And Peter, we understand you spoke with one neighbor who knew them well. That's right, Eric. In fact, that neighbor who knew the parents well told me she's horrified. She said they lived in this home here in Pembroke Pines for 18 years before Orlando. She says that the mother was set to retire soon as a nurse. Now, authorities here in South Florida are looking for their son. I'm astounded. I have no words for this. I have absolutely no words from this. Donna Farmer cannot believe that her friends seen in this video, 64-year-old Nancy and 63-year-old Michael Petrozino, were found shot to death inside the Orange County home, and that their adopted son Michael, seen here at an Orlando bank on Tuesday morning, is a person of interest. And I can't even imagine that her son would do such a thing. I knew they were estranged, but they she, they got along fine, her and him. I can't even imagine what would cause this. Farmer says the parents had lived in this Pembroke Pines home for about 18 years before Orlando. Sean Petrozino reportedly lost his legs and nearly died in November of 2000 after a vicious case of meningitis. He has two prosthetic legs. He recently moved back in with his parents in Orange County, authorities say. They believe he could be in South Florida driving this red Camry. His parents were discovered when they did not show up for work. Michael worked at Disney World. His wife taught at Andover Elementary School. Mom She's was a, a teacher. teacher. She's a second grade teacher. He's the nicest man in the world. And they lived for that child. Nancy Petrosino posted these words on Facebook on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all my friends and family who are moms. Thank you, Sean, for making me a mom 29 years ago. I love you. Nicer people there aren't in the world than those two. There just aren't. Those sentiments are shared by the parents' neighbors in Orange County. My daughter would say that she was a very nice teacher. She had a pretty big impact on her, and, you know, just being one of the nicer teachers at, at the school. Now authorities need calls from anyone who has seen Sean Petrozino or this red Camry that Farmer says belonged to his father. Now, we also learn there's an active search right now in Broward County for Sean Petrozino. We stopped at the home of his mother-in-law. A family member there, though, told us she did not want to say anything. If you've seen him or his car, call police or Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. We are live in Pembroke Pines. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you.